Hello everyone and welcome back to Zora's Loft. First off, I want to say my apologies. I was expecting to do a live broadcast, but I did not know that you had to do <clears throat> a request for live 24 hours for your first time 24 hours uh, in advance with YouTube. So I'm unable to do the live show like I had planned. So I'm going to post this one unedited um, without my little intro or um, the little like and share at the end because we can just get right into this and I can publish it as <clears throat> quick as possible, everyone. So I have 19 perches uh, to give away and I will just pull up the actual flyer real quick. So bringing it over to the screen here. All right. So we had our first annual one loft race perch giveaway for veterans and first responders. I'm hoping to do this every year. Um, we had great uh, support from several one loft races as well as um, a lot of applicants. We have, so here are our sponsors of the event, just the one loft races um, that sponsored the event by providing free perch fees. So there is of course no money transactions being conducted. It is the one loft race managers will honor one free perch to these individuals. So if they only send one bird, then they don't have to pay a perch at all. But if they, have, they choose to send more than one bird, I know some of the one loft races, how they have it set up is if you send five birds, the sixth one is free. Um, but to get that perch, you don't have to actually send five birds to get a free perch. You can send one bird, get a free perch. Two birds only have to pay for one perch and you get the other perch free. So it's only the perch. So if your bird makes it through activation, the individual fancier is liable to pay the activation fees for the bird. So here's just the actual flyer. And then I'm going to open up the application form. And this is of course the first year. So next year I hope to have all quirks out of the way. So here's just the application form that we did up. Every, every individual has to provide their personal contact information, their eligibility to enter into the one loft race, the one loft races that they'd like to select to enter into. So you can select however many one loft races you'd like to enter into. This year it just worked out. I had 19 perches and 19 applicants. So I'm going to have it to where each individual walks away. Well, they're not walking, but each individual receives a perch. So every single veteran and first responder that did submit an application to, for uh, the one loft race uh, perch giveaway will actually be receiving a perch. Um, I just have to verify that they all qualify. And then this form, a copy of this form, is going to be given to each one loft race manager. So that way they also have the contact information for the individual and know that that individual won the one loft race that they donated to the cause. So someone could submit for all 10 races. They do so. Um, for this year, they're only going to eligible to win one. Um, I didn't know I was going to have so much support because I had really good support from the one loft race managers. I was shocked. 19 free purchase. I was like, wow. And that first week, because I ran the event for two weeks trying to get names, the first week I was looking like, well, it seems like everyone's going to get two purchase. 
But of course, this week came. The last three days, I want to say, is when I got a lot of applications because the guys were, um, I guess, probably deciding which one lot races they wanted to select. But aside from that, um, I, I'm just thrilled that it worked out where I had 19 purchases and 19 applicants. And if I had more applicants, I know the one lock race managers, they support our uh, veterans, our first responders, our active duty military. Um, and I'm sure I could have easily gotten another perch or two to cover those individuals that weren't going to get a perch. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to go into the disclaimer a little bit. So I'm going to just zoom in here. I'll actually, All right. Sorry about this. Okay. So, of course, we had the one lock race selection, the all 12 one lock races that have donated. And then we go into the disclaimer that everyone has to agree to to be eligible to enter into the one lock race. So, applicant understands that this is an entry into a drawing for a chance to receive a free perch to one of the one loft races which they have marked yes above in order to ensure this application is acceptable individuals must print or type with the applicant being fully completed for it to be considered the applicant certify that uh, so I, the applicant, certify that I qualify to receive a free perch by which this giveaway is intended to by currently or previously serving in the armed forces or as a first responder outlined above. So that means that first responders, well, previous first responders, so an individual that is retired from the police force or from the fire department, they also qualified to get a free perch. So it wasn't just veterans, but also veteran police officers and veteran firefighters. If asked of me, I can prove, I can provide proof of service. And I put out an email to individuals that if they win, it was required that they provide proof that they um, served and served honorably. So I understand that any false or misleading information in my application will result in a, in a terminated application. I further promise to adhere to the rules of the OLRs in which I received a free perch. I will update Wind Companion of my entries into the OLR. That I will only send official AU or IF banded birds of that current year. I am aware that if selected, this covers the cost of one free perch and that activation fee and that activation fees and any additional reserve purchase are to be paid by me, the applicant to the OLR. I am also aware that some of the donated purchases are to yearling one lock races and have made my selection with that in mind. One Loft Race managers have the final say and reserve the right to refuse service and entry to any breeder or attendee at their discretion. Because the One Loft Race managers are the ones who are donating the purchase, they have the final say, always. We are just thankful and grateful for them for being so generous. All right, so now that I've covered that, I can go ahead and close out of this and we can go straight into the first oh boy what happened there dang all right okay too easy I already had one pre-filled in but I guess I accidentally clicked out of it but that's okay so I went on to pinwheels, just Googled it, pinwheeler. So I guess you guys have to uh, to bear with me as I retype the names for the first drawing. So the first drawing is going to be for the Hoosier Classic. 
The Hoosier Classic graciously donated three perches, and I chose the Hoosier first, even though another one loft race donated more perches, and that's just because the Hoosier had the most interest, and it is also um, the largest free perch um, being $200 compared to the other one lot races where the perch is normally 125 to 150 range. So each individual that I'm just going to go ahead and type in their names. I need to change that there. So it's happening real time, so super transparent. Everyone's gonna know who the winner is and no one will be able to, uh, to argue and say, wait a minute, what about me? And it sounds like it's starting to rain outside. And if you recognize any of the names that are in the one loft race, I mean, in the entries, um, just thank them for their service to our country, please and thank you. Okay. There we go. Eight. All right, so we have eight individuals. Now, if you look at the other screen, uh, we do have three um, that are already claimed um, perch-wise, and I'm gonna explain that at the end. But pretty much these three individuals only selected one one loft race. And so by default, I went ahead and just assigned that one loft race to them because that one loft race only had one perch to give. And it wasn't one of the, well, some of them had a lot of interest in them, but they are, those same individuals put interest into multiple other one loft races as well. So I'm going to go ahead and spin here. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, I guess it um, takes a little bit of time to, to build up here. Okay, there we go.
hopefully it's just a first time is there a way to speed this up oh no that's just open all results And if this continues to do this after this first one, I might have to just select a different uh, pinwheel. Do I have to click the spin button again, possibly? All right. Okay, I guess I have to click it again. Sorry about that. You guys all been waiting. Oh, it's going to be an easy spin, and then it would make a selection for us. But that's all right, because I want to keep this super transparent for everyone. So I want to make it happen in real time. Hang on. And that just gives me a tight. And I don't know what that does. That just shuffles whoever 
Put a little nail. Okay. This. Okay. So note to self: Do not use PickerWheel.com. They do not have my. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go with this one again. But this one had a lot of pop up. Like, yeah, it has a lot of stuff. Edit online wheel. Slice, edit, settings. Okay, oh, well, I guess I have to just. All right, starting from the, oh, dang. I could just change that. All right, new game plan. All right, everyone. Now we shall do this one more time. Sorry about that. Hopefully this one works with no issues. Okay, now I'm going to delete the rest of these. And of course the name, the list of names will definitely be getting smaller as these one loft races that are given out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing one. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why I got to double check here. And definitely want to make sure that Chad Ward is in on this drawing since he is also one of the one loft race managers who donated purchase purchase as in plural all right now one two three four five six seven eight. First one. Oh, much better all right so the winner of the first Hooser one, I'm just going to go ahead and annotate here on my chart here.
Sorry about that, doing all this real time. Like I said, trying to do it trans as transparent as I can. Get some microphone there on the Yep. Okay, so I have and what I'm doing is keeping track of the winners over here. So now that Kim has won, I will change her name to green and remove her from the list here. All right, next spin. All right, so now we have Silvio Oliveira. And sorry if I butcher your names. All right, removing Silvio. Final spin for the last perch offered by the Hooser Classic. All right, Karina Alvarez. Okay, thank you everyone for sticking with me during the uh, troubleshoot period. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually annotate on here too, which one loft races have already been selected. Okay, Hooser is now off the board. So the next one loft race, and I have them in order of which ones I'm doing. So the next one is the Sooner Challenge. The Sooner Challenge donated four perches actually to veterans and first responders. So I wanna go in on the board. I gotta remove. All right, so for the Sooner Challenge, I shall go in and just start changing individuals' names. Well, not changing names, but and putting those who put in to get a perch. Oh, actually, I don't even have to do that on this one because two of the individuals, so the Sooner Challenge had six individuals who uh, put in to for the giveaway of the Sooner Challenge purchase. And of the six individuals, two of them actually won for the Hooser. So by default, the other four individuals that put in automatically are getting this so the sooner challenge i'm going to go ahead and annotate those four winners so we have mark piper pepper we have Jason Mayo. We have Michael McKinney. 
and we have Scott Ward. Congratulations to you four on the Sooner Challenge. I'm going to go in now. See, we didn't have to draw. <laughs> All right. So next I have Trapper's Loop Challenge. And it looks like... So Trapper's Loop Challenge actually had... It was going to raffle off two perches. But out of those two perches, only one individual put in for the perch. And that was... Well, one individual left, which is Sergio Perez. So with that, what I will do is the person at the end, I will contact them, whoever still uh, hasn't won a, a race, um, uh, a perch, and I will give them the option, depending on how many races we have left, I will communicate with all and see if they would prefer, uh, be willing to accept a free perch from the other one loft race to try to keep it as even I mean to keep it as fair as possible to those winners so I'm gonna just copy this one more time we do not have a winner however and I shall remove Sergio Perez from the board All right, next we are going to Blue Angel Classic. Blue Angel Classic is a late hatch one loft race. He donated two perches as well. So let's see out of the two perches, who do we still have? We have exactly two individuals. So we have Tim Farr, congratulations. And the other individual we have is Jeffrey Hall. All right. Okay, next, we are going to go to, what is it? I've already completed two. I just completed four. And I've already completed three. So we're going to go into drawing number five for the Franco's Classic. And Franco's Classic by G default, because we only have one individual left who has yet to win is Chad Ward. Congratulations, Chad. From there, we will now go into number six, Martinez Classic. And Martinez, wow, we are not having to do any. Martinez Classic here had one individual left. Richard Aquino. And I'm sorry if I did not get your last name correct. After that, we go into seven, the Peach Classic. And it is still working out. The Peach Classic. Here, I'm just going to bring this over here. So you guys can all see how I'm doing it. Where I'm going through. And if the one loft race is still on the board. And the individual, like for example, the Peach Classic here. So the Peach Classic, all the individuals that selected the Peach Classic. 
are actually already taken off the board except for Thomas Swan. So by default, Thomas Swan, I don't have to do the spinner for it because he wins the one loft race. Yay! Well, the perch for the one loft race, not the actual one loft race. All right, so now I'm coming down to the last two races. I have the spring break, which I have, oh my goodness, this worked out so well. The spring break will go to Paul Meyer because he was the only one that was still left on the board. Jerry's one loft race still on the board I have Raymond Taylor and then Ariel Gonzalez he didn't select any one loft race he he was undecisive so what I'm going to do is reach out and see if he would like the second Trapper loop, Trapper's Loop Challenge perch. But this just works out to where everyone did receive a perch. So awesome. I want to give another big shout out to all the World Loft races who donated. Um, if you are thinking about going entering into any of the one loft races, um, please do so. And then, of course, I have my other three winners that only entered into one themselves. So I have the Apple Cup. And the Apple Cup winner was going to be Mark Boostin because he only uh, wanted to enter into that particular one. Oh, no, wrong mark. I have for Big Andy's OLR. I have Joe Mark Gattenbong. Um, Gat, Gat Pandan. Joe Mark Gat Pandan, congratulations, and I'm sorry for most likely not pronouncing your last name correctly. And then finally, we have the Rock Creek Classic. And for the Rock Creek Classic, we had Curtis Selvison. So congratulations to all winners. And what I'm going to be doing is contacting each winner through email, letting them know. I'm going to actually take a picture of, well, I'm going to convert this into a picture, a JPEG, and send it to each individual so they know uh, which perch they won. Well, no, I'm not going to take a picture of this. But what I will do is I'll notify each individual what they won. I mean, you can always come watch the video and see which one you won and how I went about selecting. Now, next year, hopefully, um, I have some suggestions from individuals and maybe more individuals who put applications in so we can have a larger uh, growing of this one loft race. But just a reminder that a copy of every application is going to be sent to the one loft race manager um, so they can verify who did receive their free perch as well as I'm going to verify everyone is a veteran or uh, active duty service member or first responder and then they were honorably discharged from service all right everyone thank you for sticking out with me for this drawn out time while I was trying to uh, figure out that first spinner widget. All right, stay humble and kind.